So I was hoping to be sat here with some sort of Commonwealth Games medal around my neck, um, but unfortunately things didn't go quite to plan. Last bit of food before we hit Argentina. I was on tour. Once your handbag is safe, I hadn't been on the pitch long when it happened. Sure. So it was halfway through the first half. An Argentinian girl came in on opposites to me, so we kind of collided like that. Her shoulder hit my head and instantly felt awful. Three months on, post-collision, um, concussion's still not gone, which is pretty annoying. Um, I've learned a lot about concussion and its symptoms over the last three months. Um, things like light, sound, I get really sensitive to that and it, it just goes straight through me and can't, can't cope with it. So I've been spending lots of time at home with the pets. It impacts day-to-day -day stuff, things that you just take for granted. For example, walking into town, going for a coffee and walking back. I wasn't able to do that because of the noise. I was unable to, to read as well. That caused me headaches. Um, so it, it does really affect your day-to-day -day life. Um, going to the cinema is a, is a no-go. Can't do that. Sleep has been disrupted. And just being in social situations in in, in large groups is, is really quite overwhelming for me at the moment. It's definitely surprised me. My mindset at the moment is, is I'm just a person, I'm not an athlete, I need to get my health back. And once I've got my health back and my concussion symptoms have, have died down and I'm able to do day-to-day -day stuff, then I'll switch modes and then it'll be shown to the athlete and then I'll start getting back into training. My health is way more important than, than any medal. I hope I've helped you learn a little bit more about concussion. This is Shona McAllen for East Midlands Today.